bring up the red curtain behind me and go ahead and throw on the slide at any point while I'm talking. Um, it's a closing night. Woo! How many people were here eight days ago when Glenn Danzig put us through the yeah! I think it was singularly probably like the, one of the best moments of my career and maybe my worst. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I know I, that, that, that feeling is shared with many people. <laughs> uh, some that I work with and, um, and some that you know I'm just friends with that we watch movies together with. Um, so yeah, thank you for everybody who's been here all eight days. If this is your first uh, screening with Cinepocalypse, welcome. We're very happy to have you here uh, at our uh, genre festival at the Music Box. Produces. I'm Ryan. I'm with the Music Box. You might have seen me around before. Um, this is one of the events that you know I just kind of enjoy uh, doing. Uh, it's, it's kind of more for the love of it, uh, where I get to show a lot of movies that I just like watching and hanging out with people that talking about these movies. So it's really fun. So it's been a long, great week uh, with uh, a lot of uh, you know, blood, sweat, and tears from many staff members um, and many volunteers. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of the entire staff that helps make this festival happen. And I really got to say a big thank you to all of you who come out uh, day after day and uh, basically take chances us, with us to watch movies and also let us be stupid and dress up in T-Rex costumes <laughs> T-Rex or, you know, or, or throw Annabelle the doll around at, at, you know, at midnight just because it's funny. And she did maybe get some shots with Malort. Um, <laughs> I mean, she was having a Chicago like trip, right? So why not have the doll with Lord? Um, speaking of which, that might be in your free cocktail tonight. Woo um, because Lord is a sponsor. Speaking of which, uh, so is Three Floyds, and I was told I should be drinking one on stage. <laughs> to all of you. So here I am doing that. Um, you know, one bit of housekeeping, just so that my uh, the next introducer doesn't have to do it. Uh, just remember, this is a screening. Uh, we're here to enjoy the film. Um, not to be in the world of your cell phones. Um, so I would put them away, especially because the filmmaker is here, so he's gonna watch the movie with you. Maybe show a little respect. Now, real respect is watching the movie laughing, screaming, hollering because you're having so much fun. So that I hope to hear as well, because I will be in the theater probably laughing with all of you. Um, a festival uh, has a lot to it, including awards. Um, so I wanted to start by talking about those awards uh, and tell you what, if you've seen some of these films, what well, one. Uh, and then bring up our features uh, uh, jury member to talk about what won the feature films, and then we'll get on to the presentation. So, as you can see, you've already read that. I'm going to talk about the short awards. Um, they were uh, presided over by Nick Allen, Lisa Holmes, and Austin Vesley was the jury president. So, Austin asked me to read a few words. All right. Austin said, I felt so inspired this week watching the work of this broad range of filmmakers from Chicago to Cuba to Belgium and beyond. Short films are a special breed, so often made on shoestring budgets among friends with the sheer love of creating images and telling a story. From a vending machine full of severed hands to the horror of finding yourself in the wrong body. These images and stories are so vital, and I appreciate the filmmakers and the festival for sharing them. Austin couldn't be here tonight because he's a filmmaker and he's busy working on a, on a, on a video right now. Um, so those are his words, and I'm gonna go over what they chose. So next slide, please. All right, here we go. Best short goes to Budfoot. Fuck yeah! That's everything I wanted. <laughs> uh, best director goes to Switch, uh, Marion Renard. Best performance goes to uh, Switch, Norm, Nora Dolmans. Best, uh, Sorry, best, I said best director goes to the switch. There we go. Uh, another best performance, Deep Tissue, Meredith Alloway. And Lucy Lush, nice. uh, best cinematography, we've got The Third Hand. Uh, best editing, and I'm just going to go ahead and say a best mouthful of a title. <laughs> uh, the only thing I love more than you is ranch dressing. <laughs> All right, we've got one more slide, so next slide. Because uh, our short story really had fun giving out yeah. uh, uh, awards. So uh, we have uh, Best Kill, uh, Brutal Realty, uh, which uh, I, that guy came all the way from London to be here for his. So I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy for him. Uh, best Scare, we have Go to Sleep. Uh, best Creature, we've got Road Trash. Best Film with a Social me Message, um, I'm just going to go with Woman. Uh, best Comedy, we have Who, Are, Who You Are. And I like this because Hagazusa was a film we played the first year of Cinepocalypse. 
Uh, Hagazusa Award for Best Slow Burn, and if you've seen Hagazusa, you know what they mean by slow burn, uh, uh, goes to Deliria. So, to bring up an amazing filmmaker in person who volunteered her time to help our festival. Jennifer Rita, come on up here and tell us about the features. Thank you. Um, okay, so the, the features jury consisted of me, and I am a local filmmaker, but that doesn't make me any less fabulous. <laughs> and um, Mike Rep, who's uh, from Dark Star Pictures, and uh, Joel Schumacher has made literally hundreds of films, including the original Flatliners. Um, so I would have to say that this uh, the jury process was a huge pleasure. We looked at eight feature films that were in the competition. We had uh, a very enthusiastic, long, robust deliberation. And uh, I am a filmmaker, and I wanted to say that uh, there, there's no film festival without the filmmakers, so uh, even though this isn't like an entirely packed crowd, I have to imagine that there are filmmakers in the audience, so can we all just have a round of applause for all the <laughs> So, uh, our, uh, maybe, I, do I go next, right, for best, um, yep. best actor? Next slide. Let me see if my. The, yeah, the best actor oh, wow. prize goes to Krzysztof uh, oh. for The Mute, which is a raw and captivating performance from beginning to end. The actor steals every scene he is in. Uh, next slide. <laughs> the best actress award goes to Azura Sky for The Swerve, a performance that demands intense sympathy. This actress feels fully in command of every frame of a rapidly unhinging character. Next slide. Best cinematography nice. yep. is also for the DP of The Mute. Uh, we sink slowly and steadily into the br brutal world of this film through its br brilliant cinematography. The life of this film seems to be breathing through the, the camera lens. Next slide, please. Uh, best replay um, goes also to The Mute. This is not a totally unfamiliar story told with distinct innovation in a context that feels wholly original. Uh, next slide, please. The best director goes to Sarah Sama. Nice! Uh, nice! Uh, it can be a challenge for any young director to glean great performances from it from experienced actors, but it takes a truly gifted director to deliver great performances from non-actors. This young woman is certainly one to watch. I'm very serious about that. Like, watch out for the next film. <laughs> next slide. The best film also goes to The Last of Really? Wow. Uh, it seems that we are in a time when many writers and directors are challenging our idea of genre. This particular film is an unexpected and deeply nuanced portrait of an unseen horror based on actual events with brilliant performances and masterfully directed. We have two, also, uh, maybe next slide, we have two special mentions that uh, <laughs> that go to uh, Yay, The Mute, uh, which is a beautifully and brutal film about, a d about deadly fissures between the sacred and the profane and Why Don't You Just Kill Me. Yeah! Why don't you just die? Why don't you just die? A deftly crafted and wicked family drama that delivers as much laughter as blood. Before I bring on your festival director, I just wanted to um, say, say sort of like, you know, selfishly that it's true that I'm a, I'm a Chicago-based uh, filmmaker. I have made a film called Knives and Skin that is, <laughs> that is also um, sort of like genre flirting. And I can't confirm um, how or when, but just, let's just, let's say, look out for it this fall in Chicago. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, the closing night presentation is about to happen, and I want to um, introduce your incredibly, you know, exhausted, but, uh, you know, astoundingly still enthusiastic director, Josh. <laughs> Yeah. You guys are all fucking here for airheads. 
Uh, this is the coolest room in Chicago right now. Uh, man, it's been a hell of a week. You guys were all here for dancing, right? Yeah! yeah. You were here for Michael Ironside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! You're probably here for Tammy and the T-Rex. We did a lot of crazy shit together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this might be the craziest. For me, in a great way, did I lose you? Yeah. Uh, when you create a festival, um, you want to bookmark it with things that you just love. Um, and, you know, you go round and round in circles, you look, you look for the right pick, you talk about some crazy shit, you look for some new movies, you look for some old movies, and then you land on Airheads. <laughs> and you do it because this movie fucking rocks. And I don't think, yeah, you're not gonna see this at TIFF, man. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's not special enough to have a place in a film festival. Um, you know, in particular, our closing night. Uh, I look, I, it's, it's a film that, that's deep-rooted for me. Um, it's nostalgia, it's, it's growing up as a kid, um, it's a metalhead weirdo. Um, I mean, fuck, look at the cast. It's Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, uh, Michael McKean. Uh, yeah, I was gonna fucking get to that, relax. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a one-of-a-kind, magical film, and it's... <laughs> um, so look, it's, it's really special for us. Um, it, it, and then, look, this was a hard movie to find, too. Um, as far as we know, and can correct us if I'm wrong, but we haven't been corrected so far, this is the very first time there has been a 35 millimeter screening of this film since its release. We got the film from the Academy. Ooh. Uh, they said they hadn't loaned it out ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that as a joke, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, then, you know, we got uh, the director, Michael Lehman's email, and we sent him an email and we said, man, we really love this movie. Michael! Yeah. yeah. We, you know, you guys have heard of a little movie called Heathers. Yeah. Um, and pretty much immediately he was like, fuck yeah, let's do this. Um, and so he's here in the building tonight. Um, before we get started, uh, we, uh, Michael is going to be joining us for a Q&A following the film, so please stay seated. I'm sure you'll have some questions, and then we're going to go drink a lot, and there's some free food. Uh, Y'all get, like, a free drink with your ticket, um, so use that, stick around, hang out. Uh, big ups to Three Floyds. Um, Woo! They're going to be providing all of our alcohol tonight. Um, let me thank our sponsors. Uh, you've heard it time and time again, but this is the last time. Uh, Alter, watchalter.com, our presenting sponsor. Uh, give those guys some credit, give them a look online. Bloody Disgusting, uh, Fangoria, Shudder, Vinegar Syndrome. Check out, buy some merch uh, from uh, our uh, creepy company, our vendors. Yeah, they rule. And uh, we put out a fucking record this year that none of you bought. So go, go buy a fucking record, it's awesome. A ton of punk rock shit on it for the Ranger. You guys have seen the Ranger, right? And, uh, yeah, that's it. Without further ado, let's welcome director Michael Lehman. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, I'm really happy you guys are here. I'm really happy to be able to see this movie on a big screen again. 
and um, please feel free to ask me anything you'd like afterwards, but enjoy the fucking movie, it's great. It never, it never screens, it never gets on a big screen. I was so happy when Josh called me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.